If you've seen me play live on my own, I use my little loop pedal, which is a fantastic little gadget. It's quite difficult to get used to um, because you're using your feet, and unless you're a drummer, you probably don't use your feet to play things very often, but tap dancing lessons, I highly recommend. But I've just got to get my mic, so. Cool, stick that there. And uh, the trick, if you've bought yourself a, a loop pedal, or if you've stolen one off your older brother, then is that you need to get two things going into one, one pedal. I use an Akai Headrush. It's called an Akai Headrush 2. And uh, when I was just going around playing coffee shops, uh, I was just so scared that I was going to be this really horrendously boring um, Phoebe from Friends singer. And I had to make no, more noise than just guitar. I wanted to, you know, I'd made my album already and I had a whole band on it. So I just wanted to be a band in one person. It's like a kind of modern one-man band machine. Um, but basically, it's a very simple pedal, and you've just got to try. You, I use a little desk here on the ground, and you just split your signals in there so that you've got one output coming out of the, the desk going into the pedal so that you can use both things. So I can do my guitar. So that's a looping. And I can also do my voice. Hello. 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 So, as you can see, it's a really, really simple gadget. There's a there's a um, record button, which starts at recording, and then the other button is a play and stop button. So if I start recording, I go, oi oi, oi oi, oi oi. As soon as I play the stop, oi, press the stop button, oi, it starts oi, to loop. Oi oi. And then you can stop it with the same one. So once you've got your head round which buttons do what, it's actually very, very simple. The difficult thing is uh, is getting the timing right because you've basically got to hit the button and hit the guitar at the same time. So to get a beat, I'll uh, I'll hit the guitar body like this. That's the difficult bit because you've got to hit the guitar at exactly the same time as you hit the button because if you hit the button late, you don't record anything at all, and if you hit it early, it won't loop properly like this. Which is and that's happened to me in gigs many times. And I've had to start again and say, oh, we have a technical problem. And actually, we haven't got a technical problem at all. It's actually just my brain and foot communication. So, but that's always a good way of getting out of it. If you decide to use a loop pedal and it is a bit crap, then you just say that there's been a terrible problem with the electricity in the building. So that's a really good thing to practice to start with. It's just getting a four to the floor beat. So just do your own little techno tune. Um, and just try and get the rhythm bang on. So I'll show you how I do it anyway. Oh, the way I do it is get my heel going first and get a beat with my leg. I never ever go into it completely stationary. It's really good to get yourself into the rhythm before you try and attempt it. So I'm always, if you, <laughs> if you ever see me doing this, you'll see me going like this for about 10 seconds before I put it in. It's, it's getting myself vibed. See, that's quite good, that one. I can't, I can't hear anything wrong with that at all. And just to get the offbeat when I put the pedal beat in, I just hit the bridge with my thumb. But you can do whatever you want. You can go, you know, you can put all sorts of noises in. You can just muck about. I have nearly broken my guitar several times and had to go to the guitar hospital because... Uh, I hit it very hard, <laughs> and um, and quite a few times, all the insides have just basically because it's all kind of glued together with the guitar. It's got like a frame in it, and um, it's come quite close to me not being able to use it anymore. But thankfully, the glue is very strong these days that we use. Uh, so I'll show you how I put the loop in with the uh, with the offbeat with the thumb. And it just gives you that extra timing because you can hear the offbeat as well so with the pedal that's the loop I can now press the record button at any time and record anything uh, and that loop stays the same so I'll go la 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 and it just comes up I don't need to do la, that in la, time la. La, 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 la. then I think if I press the record button la, la, twice la, la, la. it'll get rid of that la, 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 la. and it's gone and so basically that's a nice little trick with this pedal that you can wipe everything but your beat so it doesn't completely stop 
So if you do something heinous, you can actually kind of start again. Now what I put on next is uh, just a bit of strumming with no chords. I think I've shown you earlier where you don't have any notes coming out. You're not fretting anything. It's just rhythm. So put that in. Now the light flashes when the loop starts so you know where it's coming. It's there. So again, get your heel going. It's a bit of practice to get it in, but I've done it enough now. <laughs> okay. Now, a really important part of this song is the woohoos. So, you have to get them in. I use a mute pedal as part of my system because what can happen is that everything... I'll stop that a second, but everything starts feeding back if you've got your guitar resonating. So, it's always good if you're not using the guitar to just mute it so that you don't get any feedback. Okay, so... Get your tuning before you sing it, because you don't want we who's that are in the wrong key. Okay? So, here we go. You want to do a bit of clapping as well. clap too close to the mic because it, it sends it mad and uh, you don't want the clapping too loud. Okay, now we're going to put the harmony in. Okay, sounding more like the song now. And then we want a little bit of tambourine just to get a bit of high frequency stuff in there. Keep your uh, mute pedal on. Don't do that too close to the mic because it'll, it'll be way too loud. So that's your loop. And that's all you need. That's all you're going to need until the end where we'll put a bit more stuff in uh, for the crescendo, which means louder and madder. Okay, so I'll take you right from the start of the song. We'll do the intro, do the verse, do the chorus. And when we get to the end of the middle eight, um, well, actually, in the middle eight, we, we're going to put some more stuff into the pedal, so I'll stop and, and take you through that. All right, are you ready? Do you have your split signals? Here we go. <laughs> 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 